Welcome to Highway Herald, your roadmap to the latest in auto. Today we're diving into the world of electric vehicles, and it seems like we're hitting a few speed bumps on the road to a fully electric future. As the surge in EV production outpaces demand, dealerships are feeling the pinch. Saddled with a product that's losing its spark with buyers, their optimism is dwindling. Let's explore the seven reasons why car dealerships are feeling the electric blues. Reason number seven, dealership dismay over EV sales. Recent surveys paint a grim picture for EV sales, with dealerships expressing a significant drop in optimism. Cox Automotive, renowned for its dealer sentiment index, reports a downward trend in EV sales expectations. The latest survey, which included 546 franchise and 472 independent retailers, asked, how would you describe your EV sales compared to last year? The response, a score of 43 on Cox's scale, well below the neutral 50, indicating a sense of decline and weakness among dealers. When asked, what do you expect the EV market in your area to look like three months from now? The score plummeted to a record low 39. To put this in perspective, the score was 67 in the fourth quarter of 2022, highlighting a drastic shift in dealers' expectations for EVs. The pessimism has been mounting over the past year, and it seems to be hitting rock bottom. Reason number six, the slowdown of growth. The slowdown in the EV market is a major contributor to dealers' pessimism. For years, we saw a meteoric rise in EV market share, with year-over-year -year growth of at least 90% between 2020 and 2022. However, the tide seems to have turned. Last year ended with a 50% growth, and the numbers for January this year were even more disappointing, showing an increase of just 15%. This slowdown has led to EVs accounting for only 7.8% of the market, falling short of experts' expectations. Dealers are realizing that the era of rapid growth may be over, and the market could soon plateau or maintain a minimal growth rate. It appears that while the early adopters have embraced EVs, the middle class remains hesitant about this radical shift. Interestingly, we're seeing a surge in the hybrid market. Gas electric vehicles have been growing at a 40% rate for years, and last year, it jumped to 70%. Hybrids now make up 9% of the total car market, and this number is expected to rise especially with popular models like Toyota's Camry and RAV4 soon to be available only in electrified variants. Reason number five, the high cost of EV investments. Dealerships are facing a daunting challenge, investing heavily in EVs, a market with uncertain profitability. This includes costs for chargers, infrastructure, and staff training. The slowing EV market trend heightens their concerns about these substantial investments. Consider Ford, for example. Of its 3,000 dealers nationwide, Half are hesitant to sell EVs due to the required $1 million certification program investment, especially as Ford scales back its EV investments. Other automakers, like Buick, are even more stringent, issuing ultimatums to their dealers. Despite not having introduced an EV in North America, Buick is forcing dealers to choose between a $400,000 investment to sell EVs or lose their dealership license. This has led to a 50% reduction in Buick's dealer network over the past year. The road to an electric future is proving to be a challenging one for dealerships. This situation underscores the complexity of the transition to EVs. It's not just about technological innovation, but also about navigating the economic realities and market dynamics. Before we delve deeper, we'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to Highway Herald. Your support fuels our passion to create more content like this. Now let's explore reason number four. Mercedes-Benz pumps the brakes on EV ambitions. Even luxury carmaker Mercedes-Benz is hitting the brakes on its EV ambitions. The German automaker had previously announced a bold plan to sell only battery electric vehicles from 2030. However, reality has forced a change in course. Mercedes-Benz has finally acknowledged what its North American dealers have been saying for a while. The transition to EVs is not going to be as swift and smooth as initially anticipated. The company's annual sales results reveal that EV sales have fallen short of expectations. As a result, Mercedes-Benz has unveiled a new, less ambitious electrification plan. The revised goal is to have half of its overall sales be electric by the end of this decade, but this includes hybrids as well. This decision was influenced not just by U.S. sales results, but also by the global slowdown in EV market growth. Last year's sales rose by only 31%, a significant drop from the previous year's growth rate. Like other automakers, Mercedes-Benz has come to terms with the fact that the initial EV strategy was unsustainable and could have led to catastrophic consequences. Reason number three, the high stakes for domestic dealers. 
GM and Ford dealerships have always been skeptical about the shift to electric, but their skepticism turned into outright pessimism when both companies announced significant delays in their EV investments. Remember, these companies make the bulk of their profits from pickup trucks like the F-Series, Silverado, and Sierra. The logical strategy was to electrify these profit makers as soon as possible. However, the road to electrification has been bumpy. Ford did launch the F-150 Lightning, but the initial excitement quickly fizzled out when consumers realized that it didn't quite measure up to its gas-powered counterparts in terms of towing capacity, range under heavy load, and overall convenience. Consequently, Ford decided to halve its production plans for this year, impacting about 1,400 workers at the Michigan plant. GM's journey hasn't been any smoother. The production of the all-electric Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra has been postponed until at least 2025. Meanwhile, the company's recently introduced all-electric SUVs have proven to be reliability nightmares, leading to a sharp decline in demand. All things considered, optimism is in short supply. Reason number two, the challenge of selling EVs. Selling EVs is no easy task, and salespeople are anything but thrilled about it. In fact, selling an EV requires considerably more time and effort compared to traditional gas-powered cars. According to Buzz Smith, a former GM salesman turned dealer trainer, customers typically make four visits before deciding to buy an EV. In contrast, gas-powered car sales are usually wrapped up in an hour after just one visit. This means salespeople need to spend 400% more time to earn the same commission, effectively taking a 75% pay cut. So, it's no surprise that they're somewhat relieved by the current slowdown in EV growth. Reason number one, the high price tag of EVs. If there's one thing dealers know, it's what buyers want. They've been urging car makers to rethink their EV strategy for a long time, but their advice fell on deaf ears. The truth is, buyers don't want to pay a premium for a vehicle that falls short of a gas-powered car in most aspects. They want affordable and convenient transportation, not a luxury, high-priced EV that offers little in terms of convenience. The problem lies in the fact that car makers designed their first EVs with early adopters in mind. This phase ended sooner than expected, and now, EV makers are struggling to meet the needs of the average customer. They need a car that's as affordable or cheaper than their gas-powered counterparts and addresses at least some of the issues associated with current-generation EVs. Until car makers can offer faster charging rates, better range, improved infrastructure, and enhanced reliability, dealers have little reason to be optimistic. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the world of vehicles. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Herald to stay updated on the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. See you next time.